Uh, first, we'll start out with some general comments about the game. Well, I mean, we're going to have to learn how to win those close games. It was a game that uh, I was pretty happy with the way that we played. Um, emotionally, we we're set. We we're set for 60 minutes, and, and uh, physically, I thought that you know we controlled the play. But it's uh, you've got to win those one-goal games, and, and um, to have the mishap in overtime seems to be uh, somewhat of a history with us, and it's uh, it's a tough way to, to lose. Uh, their goaltender was absolutely phenomenal, um, and. Uh, we just got to win those games. And how did you guys cope with the uh, the goaltender? It seemed like a totally different change than his uh, play yesterday, where he got pulled early. Well, we didn't cope very well because we only got one behind him. You know, um, we had our looks. We had good looks. We had good opportunities. We we uh, we created opportunities. We got second shots, third shots. Uh, we got shots through traffic. Um, Clark was really on his game. I mean, it, it, he won that game for the team. And you know when. Occasionally, you expect a goaltender to steal a game for him, and, and uh, Clark did. And, and unfortunately, we couldn't solidify a sweep. Uh, I was happy with the way that we played. You know, there's always uh, mistakes that are made and generated throughout the game. Um, uh, uh, to provide an opportunity over time that we did, um, we're in the second part of the season, and uh, uh, I can't tolerate the learning curve anymore. It's just. Uh, it's very unacceptable the way we lost that game. My goaltending played great. My special teams was great. Um, it, it was just uh, it was a real good weekend for us. Unfortunately, we didn't win two games. And how do you prepare for uh, Indiana coming in here in a couple of weeks? Was well, we can't change the outcome of the game. I mean, you know, we move on and we prepare and, and uh, cross our fingers that we retain a little bit of the sting and then we learn from it. One thing about Central States is every team that we play in our league is, is a quality team. Anybody can win and you have to learn how to win and, and uh, to have resilience and push back like Illinois does. I give them an awful lot of credit. You know, it's, uh, we expect the same thing against Indiana. Um, we have a couple weeks of practice uh, and hopefully we continue to improve. It's Winning games, the most important games are when you get to the national tournament, and, and uh, it's a process getting there, and uh, you don't want to give games up, and you want to win them all, and, and uh, you know, we learned early in the season that we weren't going to go undefeated, um, but it's, uh, um, you can't be content with losing, you only got to look at the glass being half full, and you got to learn from it, and hopefully we have a, a positive response. We're here with uh, Kirk Croswell and Joe Bostic after the uh, unfortunate loss to the Illini here this afternoon. First, uh, we'll just open it up to some general comments about the game, if you guys want to share those. I mean, it was another hard-fought game against the Illini. I mean, all four games we've played against them this year have been, been a hard battle, and I thought both games. Our team came out really strong, got a lot of good shots, a lot, a lot of shots, a lot of good chances, too, and I think today their goalie played a lot better than he did yesterday, and I think that was a bit of a difference. And Joe, you had the uh, lone goal for the Lions today. Why don't you talk about your goal? and uh, how that all played out. Well, it was just a pretty basic goal. Uh, Gorska going to the middle and give me the puck for a shot, and then uh, we just crashed the net and it goes in. Did you feel the uh, momentum swing after that goal? Yeah, definitely. Everybody was excited on the bench. I mean, that's what happened uh, yesterday in the game. We get the first goal, and then they just keep going in, hoping that would happen again. So, uh, Kirk, you uh, saw a lot of uh, Illinois pressure in that third period and the overtime. Can you just kind of talk about how you were feeling during that? I mean, I felt pretty good. Um, again, our D-men played great in front of me. They're keeping everything to the outside. They got a decent amount of shots, but none of them were really the greatest shots. So, I mean, again, my D-men kept it simple for me, and it was an easy game. How did the low-scoring game compare to yesterday's high-scoring game? Um, well, as a goaltender, you know, when you get a lead like we did yesterday, you know, you get a little more comfortable in there, a little more relaxed. and. Makes it a little bit easier for you. You know, there's a lot of nerves when it's a 1-1 game, you know, going with a couple minutes left in the game because you don't want to be the guy that, you know, lets that last one in. So, I mean, it's always nice when the team can come out and score a lot of goals, but, I mean, we got to be able to win the low-scoring ones as well. And, Joe, yeah, especially the first two periods, they were pretty quick periods, a lot of end-to-end -end action. Uh, did that play into uh, to Lindenwood's advantage? And uh, how do you think you guys did in, the, in that type of game? Well, I think we did. We did all right. I mean, we're a fast skating team, so it kind of worked to our advantage. I mean, we just kept throwing the puck behind them, getting shots on that, and there's, you know, that's all you can really do. Try to get the puck in. Uh, how did you guys keep your emotions in check as uh, Illinois played aggressively and physically in the second and third periods? 
I mean, we took a couple uh, penalties that probably shouldn't have happened from aggression, but uh, other than that, I think we did pretty good. I mean, we're always an aggressive team that likes to skate hard and play at a higher level, so. All right, that about wraps it up, unless you guys have any more comments. All good. Thank you. Thanks.